Hey guys, this is Josh here from Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I want to bring you all an identification video on purple dead nettle. Purple dead nettle is the plant that we're looking at right here in front of us. And this is an extremely common plant that you guys can find in your lawns, like we can see right here growing amongst some chickweed. You can also find it growing in your garden, fields, edges of roadsides, and even the edges of trails. Purple dead nettle will usually flower at the early spring, and we can see all these little purple little flowers on these little plants in front of us. Now, let's take a quick look at some of its identification features. When we look at purple dead nettle up close, we're going to notice these very vibrant purple flowers coming from the base of the stem. And the most indicative feature that we're going to notice is this purple coloration on the top sections of its leaves. Whenever we look at the leaves of purple dead nettle, we're going to notice two different types of leaves or shapes of leaf. One is going to be these spade-like shape leaves that we have right here, and the other ones are going to be further down, which are going to be these somewhat almost heart-shaped leaves, kind of reminiscent of garlic mustard a little bit in shape. Both shapes of leaf will have these kind of scalloped or toothed edges that we can see here along the edges of this. If we look at the lower basal leaf, we're going to notice as well these rounded teeth. If we look very closely on the top of the leaves, we can actually notice little bitty hairs or little fuzz along the top sides of the leaves. This is another interesting factor of this plant because it is a little hairy. This plant is in the mint family, though its common name is purple dead nettle. It is in the mint family. It does not have any actual mint flavor to it though, but we can see here that it has a square stem that is hollow. Most mints will usually have a square stem. Most will be hollow. Some will not be hollow. Just because a plant has a square stem doesn't automatically mean it's a mint, but the majority of mints do have a square stem. Another common feature on a lot of mint plants and even this purple dead nettle is an opposite leafing structure like we can see here. Another interesting feature about this plant stem is you can notice this purple splotching where the plant nodes or leaf nodes actually join the main stem of the plant. And the leaf stems have this purple tinge and purple coloration to them as well. As we go a little further up the main stem of the plant, you can also see this purple striations on the corners of the squared stem. The tops of your purple dead nettle are going to be very, very dense with leaves and flower clusters and flower buds, as we can see here. If I pull, let's see if I can pull this back here. There we go. If I pull this back, you can see all these little flower buds starting, and this is where all the flowers are going to emanate from, and this is along the main stem of the plant. It's a little difficult to notice through the dense foliage here. However, the opposite leafing pattern stays true all the way up the entire plant. This plant does have a look-alike, but thankfully its look-alike is not poisonous, and it usually grows right next to its look-alike. Right here is a plant known as henbit, and this is a plant that is commonly confused with purple dead nettle. However, if we put the two side by side, you can see there are very stark differences. One of the reasons these plants are confused is because of their purple flowers, which look almost exactly alike, as we can see here. We will notice on the henbit, though, its flowers are a little longer and more tubular, versus on the purple dead nettle, they are a little more shorter and more cup-shaped. Purple dead nettle is a very important plant for early spring pollinators, like early emerging bees, because this is one of their very first food sources that they get. Another really interesting thing about this plant is it is edible and medicinal. This plant is commonly used in teas and it can be tossed into spring salads along with chickweed like we can see growing right here next to it and like the henbit that we looked at just a few minutes ago. It does have a somewhat kind of grassy, peppery taste to some people, so keep that in mind if you go to use it in salads. You might want to start off using it sparingly until you can adjust to its flavor. We can also notice from a distance here how this sort of purple tinging and purple coloration along the tops of these plants really helps it stick out. Whenever you see a whole lot of it, you're going to notice this just dark purple covering fields, oftentimes before early fields have been turned over or disked or plowed, depending on how it's done in your area. The growing season of purple dead nettle usually will start, at least in my area of central Indiana, it'll usually start to come up around the middle of March and it'll usually last until around the middle to the end of April, at least in my area. In some places it could be a longer season, in some places it could be a shorter season, so keep that in mind based upon your location. Over here we can see a whole lot more of this purple dead nettle, and we can really see how this coloration gives rise to its name. Now thankfully this plant does not sting like other nettles, like stinging nettle or wood nettle would. 
So as you can see, this is an extremely easy plant to identify, and I hope this video has helped you guys learn how to identify purple dead nettle. I thank all of you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. If you want to learn more about wild edibles or medicinal plants, please make sure to subscribe.